In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America, by her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and all those in need. And by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second letter of St. John. Chosen lady, I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. One another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we worked for, but may re receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as to not remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servants that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes that I may, I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they, the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. We're reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, 
as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building. On the day when Lot le left Sodom, fire and brimstone rain rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken. The other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. In our Gospel today, we have very strong language that Jesus uses. Um, to basically give us the message of being ready for the, the, the coming, the second coming. But another way to see this, instead of just being scared, is to have our priorities straight. Jesus, Jesus uses a few Old Testament examples. He uses the example of Noah first and the flood. Noah warned everybody about the flood but only a few people believed him, and everyone else was wiped away that did not go in the ark. But these people, they were eating and drinking, marrying, um, and so some of it was good. Some of it was just regular. You're eating, you're having a good time, marrying. There's nothing wrong with marrying people. But the thing is, they put all of this, these worldly things as priority over God. And Noah was this messenger from God. The same with Lot, uh, when he warned everyone they were not listening, and some of them were in sin, or a lot of them, because it was Sodom and Gomorrah. But eating and drinking and buying, selling, planting, building, those are the words Christ used that these people were doing in Sodom. Not all of those are bad things. Some of them are okay. Um, selling and planting, that's probably how they made their money. They were just working. But the thing is, they put all of that above God. And that's where the problem came. And Lot was sent to warn them, and they did not listen. They did not listen to God or God's messengers. And so that's what Christ is telling us. Our priority has to be God. Of course, we should not be in sin or, or do sinful acts and strive to strive, go away from sin but also just the regular worldly things. We have to make sure, even some of the things that are important, we have to make sure are not above God. Because if we have our priorities straight, then we know number one always has to be God, regardless of what number two and after that is. But number one in our lives has to be God. And in the case of his examples of the Old Testament, he's saying that these people, their priorities were not God. They were everything else, but except for God. And so they paid the ultimate price. So that's what we reflect on today. Christ is saying that it will be like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. But instead of being scared, we should rejoice at this coming of this day, whether it be in our lifetime or after we pass. But the important thing is that we always have God as number one in our lives, as our top priority, as the one that is above all in our lives because he is above all. And so we reflect on that today. 
We reflect on those moments of weakness when God is not number one in our lives, of how we've handled that situation, and also we reflect on how we can, moving forward throughout our day today, remind ourselves that God is always number one, and that if we truly put our trust in God and put Him above all in our lives, then everything else will follow perfectly after. Please remain seated. Um, our Mass today is being offered for the repose of the souls of Hung Lee, Bart West, and Father Adrian San Juan. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. He'll become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, we take away this sin. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
all those joining us through the live stream of the Mass, we will now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder that for those present here uh, physically at the Mass, the communion will be distributed um, at the end of Mass instead of right now at the usual time. Um, so I ask you all to please be seated. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to you.